Don't even bother. Don't answer. Just answer. Just answer. Just answer. This is this is a special kind of flower. My strategy would be to introduce. Mostly it's used in the cities. So it's it's basically the same thing. Bring bring it to the villages. Make them use it because mostly they use the coconut thing. So you we we are going to replace that with this. And the first thing I would communicate to them is the safety aspect of the skin. Because once you scrub more and more with stuff like that, there is a chance of the outer layer of the skin getting destroyed, and that will create a sense of similar to a buffalo. Your skin will get thickened. So this is proven medically proven fact. I'll make sure that I communicate this to them and make. I'll I'll tell them that this this got this has got a special kind of material. Which won't affect the skin, which won't affect the outer layer of the skin, and uh, it's it's prescribed by the dermatologist. And the other thing is, uh, uh, the other strategy is that mostly they are not going to buy the scrubber uh, alone. So when they are buying a soap or when they are buying a, 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 a body wash, I will give it along with it uh, as as an uh, additional product. And uh, my uh, I believe that when I'm uh, when I am marketing this, I believe I would have a cosmetic product along with it in my own uh, company. So I will be first pushing it as a uh, complement along with the main product and then when they realize the use of it, I will market it as a uh, whole product as a whole. And I will price it uh, less than 5 rupees because I am going to replace coconut uh, scrubbers. So it should be uh, price low. So it, should, it would be less than 5 rupees and I will uh, uh, go for low margin and high sales. Okay. Uh, what is the target population you are aiming at uh, for making a sale of this product? Mainly you in uh, rural areas, because uh, it, 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 the, the the main thing to do with this is about uh, people people who take bath daily and. Uh, and people, and people who are more worried about their appearance. So I believe that the youth in the rural areas are more. Uh, they are moving towards. They are buying products. They are buying new cosmetics. They are adventurous nowadays. They want to get the product which is available in the cities. They want to get access to it. So when they are having a cheaper option of the same product which is being used in the city, they go for it. So I am going to target the youth in the rural areas. Okay. What is the composition of the product? Who is it made actually? It's made of a special kind of a plastic which, uh, uh, which is light in weight and make sure that uh, it does not damage the outer layer of the skin. I am not so sure of the technical details. But then uh, the main uh, composition of the material would be to be soft and less damaging. That would be the main, main criteria. And uh, it would also be uh, easily dryable so that uh, they don't have problems in the face. So, uh, what is the type of distribution you are planning for the uh, Now, I have got, already got the structure. The, uh, mostly the cosmetics are go, going with dealers and uh, distributed to all the uh, retail outlets. So, I will follow the same strategy and you know, market it.
you are exposing them to even bigger skin diseases, aren't you? Sir, uh, talking about this buffalo skin, it, it, it means that having a soft skin doesn't mean that they are prone to diseases. It, it depends on people, but then usually uh, it has the rashness caused due to a tough skin is more when compared to a when compared to a soft skin. So I don't think uh, it would matter because uh, it's proven medically that your skin shouldn't be tough, shouldn't be hard, and it shouldn't be dead with hard materials. So I don't think. It would. And then um, this is also about uh, sensitivity. Uh, you are uh, pushing a uh, plastic product yes, against something which is natural. So, aren't you going to be isolated by your own peers? You're playing into their hands that you're pushing uh, something that is detrimental like plastic in the place of uh, something that is recognized as green and the biodegradable. Actually, people using it are actually using soap. Soap is a petrochemical. So, the people whom I'm targeting already, because I'm first going in uh, as a, giving it as a compliment. So, when I'm going further, they are used to soap. They are okay with the petrochemicals using them on this team. So when I am introducing a plastic and I am promoting it as a soft, uh, uh, undamaging product, I think it will sell. It's not. It's hard. They know that it's hard. The coconut thing is hard. They know that. But then when I am promoting it, uh, it goes with the cosmetics. They are okay with the uh, petrochemicals. So I don't think there will be an issue. Um, there will not be an issue the way you suggested. But then why would they want to? Buy from you. They would probably take it as a compliment. But why would they think about buying when the uh, coconut coil is available for you? Uh, <coughs> my initial strategy is to give it as a compliment. But once uh, it goes, um, it, it, it might be a limited period offer. It, it might be an inter introduction offer. But later, when when uh, they realize the use of it, and when it's they, it's they, they eventually the ultimate over, manager is uh, there.